So folks, have you noticed your AI buddy acting a little different lately? Maybe it's quicker, sharper, or just a bit more on point. Well, you're not alone, because OpenAI has been quietly rolling out some big updates without making a big splash about it. But don't you worry, I've got you covered with all the juicy details. So last week, I began to feel that ChatGPT was somehow different because the responses seemed more um, accurate, faster, and just overall better. And it turns out I wasn't the only one because, you know, people all over social media were buzzing about ChatGPT's apparent upgrade. But here's the catch. OpenAI didn't make a big announcement. It was all very low-key until they finally dropped a little surprise and they hopped on X and casually mentioned that a new version of their GPT-4 model had been integrated into ChatGPT. Just like that, they updated the model we've all been using without any fanfare. Their message was simple. There's a new GPT-4.0 model out in ChatGPT since last week. Hope you're all enjoying it. And check it out if you haven't. We think you'll like it. And that was it. No big release, no grand reveal, just a tweet. That's <laughs> typical OpenAI, right? So you're probably wondering what's so special about this new model, right? Let's break it down. The updated version of GPT-4.0, now dubbed GPT-4.0 Latest, is basically a fine-tuned and optimized take on what we already had. But here's where things get interesting, because OpenAI hasn't exactly laid all their cards on the table. There's a lot of speculation swirling around about what this new model really is. Some folks are thinking this might be part of a larger strategy by OpenAI to roll out different sized models, similar to what Google and Anthropic are doing. And then there's been chatter about a GPT-40 large, and some believe this latest update might be a step in that direction. But honestly, I'm not entirely convinced. Let's be clear, if this were a brand new model, they probably would have made a much bigger deal about it. So folks, what's this new model really capable of? From what I've seen and what others have been reporting, it's definitely stepping up its game, especially when it comes to tasks that need complex reasoning and a bit of creativity. If you've been using ChatGPT for coding help or solving tricky problems, you might have noticed it's just a bit sharper now. Plus, it's quicker too, which is always a nice touch. But let's be real, it's still not perfect. There are still some quirky moments, like in one test, the model was asked to stack a book, nine eggs, a laptop, a bottle, and a nail in a stable way. The solution? Putting nine eggs on top of a bottle. Seriously, who does that? So yeah, there are still some bugs to iron out, but overall, this update is definitely a step forward. Now, shifting gears to something that's been causing a lot of buzz, Project Strawberry. The whole idea behind Project Strawberry is that it might be a new post-training method designed to supercharge the model's reasoning skills. Some folks are even speculating that the improvements we're seeing in ChatGPT could be the first glimpse of this mysterious project in action. Then folks, one of the coolest features of the new GPT-40 latest model is how it handles multi-step reasoning because basically this means the AI isn't just rushing to conclusions, but it's taking its time to think things through step by step before giving you an answer. And that's a pretty big deal because it leads to more accurate and thoughtful responses, which is exactly what we're looking for, right? This new model has already made a big splash in the AI community, particularly on something called the LMSYS leaderboard. Now, if you haven't heard of it, the LMSYS leaderboard is the Olympics for AI models because they put different models against each other in all sorts of tasks. And the new ChatGPT 4.0 latest model just dominated because it scored a massive 1,314 points, which is the highest score ever recorded on the leaderboard. This means it's outperforming some of the biggest names out there like Google, Anthropic, and Meta. Now, if you're wondering, how can I get my hands on this new model? Well, it's super simple, folks, because OpenAI has already replaced the old GPT-4.0 with the new version on both the ChatGPT website and app. So all you need to do is open up ChatGPT and you're all set. If you're on the free plan, you might run into some message limits, but if you're on the plus plan, you can really push the model and see what it's capable of. But don't worry, even if you're not ready to drop $20 a month for the plus plan, you can still get a good sense of what the new model can do before hitting those limits. And when you do run out of messages, you can switch over to GPT-40 Mini. 
It's not exactly the same, but it's still pretty powerful. Then one more interesting thing is how OpenAI has been testing these updates because they've been sneaking experimental models into places like the LMSYS chatbot arena under random names. So people don't even realize they're testing the new tech. For instance, the ChatGPT 4.0 latest model was tested under the name Anonymous Chatbot and it racked up over 11,000 votes from users. You know, that's a lot of people unknowingly contributing to the testing process, which I guess just goes to show how clever OpenAI's approach is. So, what's on the horizon, folks? If this update is anything to go by, we can expect OpenAI to keep tweaking and enhancing ChatGPT. They're clearly zeroing in on making it even better at reasoning, creativity, and those tasks that need a bit more brain power. And who knows, maybe we'll see more developments from Project Strawberry in the near future. Switching gears, folks, let's talk about a new pretty cool AI model that didn't quite get the spotlight it deserves. It's called Falcom Mamba 7B, and it's released by the Technology Innovation Institute, TII, in Abu Dhabi. TII is known for pushing the envelope with cutting-edge tech like AI, quantum computing, and robotics, and now they've launched this new model. It's open source and available on Hugging Face, which is a big plus, but what really sets it apart is the new architecture it's built on. While most of us are used to transformer models ruling the AI scene, Falcon Mamba 7B introduces something different. The Mamba State Space Language Model, SSLM architecture, and basically, this new approach is quickly gaining traction as a solid alternative to the traditional transformer models. So folks, why does this matter? Well, while transformers are fantastic, they come with some drawbacks, especially when dealing with longer texts. Basically, transformers rely on attention mechanisms that compares every word in a text to every other word to grasp the context. But as the text lengthens, this process demands more and more computing power and memory. So if you don't have the resources to keep up, the model slows down and starts to struggle with longer texts. And this is where the SSLM steps in. Unlike transformers, SSLM doesn't just compare words to each other. Instead, it continuously updates a state as it processes the text, and this allows it to handle much larger sequences without needing a huge boost in memory or computing power. Falcon Mamba 7B uses SSLM architecture, which was originally developed by researchers at Carnegie Mellon and Princeton Universities. And what's really cool about this model is its ability to dynamically adjust its parameters based on the input. And this allows it to know when to focus on certain parts of the text and when to skip over others. So how does Falcon Mamba 7B measure up against heavyweights like Meta's Llama 38B or Llama 318B and Minstrel 7B? TII put it to the test and the results are pretty impressive. When it comes to handling large amounts of text, Falcon Mamba 7B can process longer sequences than transformer models using just a single 24GB A10 GPU. And this means it can theoretically handle infinite context length if you break the text down token by token or into chunks. And once again, Falcon Mamba 7B came out on top. It outperforms Minstrel 7B's sliding window attention architecture by generating all tokens at a constant speed without any increase in memory usage. And this is a big deal for anyone dealing with large-scale AI tasks because it means the model is both fast and efficient. Then when it comes to standard industry benchmarks, Falcon 7B holds its ground because in tests like ARC, Truthful QA, and GSM 8K, it either outperformed or matched the leading transformer models. Sure, there are a couple of benchmarks like MMLU where it didn't quite take the top spot, but it was still right up there with the best of them. But here's the exciting part, folks. This is just the beginning for Falcon Mamba 7B, and TII has big plans to keep refining the model and expanding its capabilities because they're not just sticking with SSLM. They're also pushing the boundaries of transformer models to keep fueling innovation in AI. So if you're into AI or just curious about what's on the horizon, keep an eye on Falcon Mamba 7B. It's already carving out a name for itself, and with TII's ongoing efforts, it's only going to get better. Plus, with over 45 million downloads of their Falcon models, TII is proving they're a serious player in the AI world. All right, folks, if you found this interesting, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and as always, see you in the next one, folks. You all take care.